Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem inside Photoshop using three different steps. So without any delay, let's begin. First of all, you need to open Photoshop because we are going to change a single setting inside of Photoshop, which is scratch disk setting. Just go to edit menu, then click on preference. Now choose scratch disk. Once you are inside this, choose all the disk available and then click OK. Now close Photoshop. Now let's begin with the second way, which is to clear our temporary files inside the system. To do that, go to start menu and right click on it. Click on run, which will open run dialog box. Then type in temp, which indicates a folder to store temporary files. Once you are inside the temp folder, just press Ctrl and A from your keyboard which will select all the available files. Now simply right click on the file and choose delete. Choose do this for all current items and click on skip. Now close the temp folder. Again repeat the same process but we need to add something inside temp. It's percentage after temp and before temp just like this click on ok again press ctrl and a which will select all the files now right click and choose delete and again check do this for all current items and if you see such continue option click it now in this case choose do this for all current items and click on skip we need to do this step because photoshop needs at least 20 gb of free space inside our disk which means we have currently selected c and d as our scratch disk therefore c and d must have 20 gb of free space available inside it otherwise it will create such errors and we cannot export or edit our photos now close this and let's repeat the same process but instead of temp write prefetch and click on ok again press ctrl a right click and choose delete click on this do this for all current items and click on skip now close this once all the process is complete i am sure the error has been resolved and don't forget to check the available disk space inside your hard drive just go to this pc and be sure that 20 gb or more than 20 gb is available so i hope you like the tutorial and if you want such amazing videos don't forget to press the subscribe button i hope you like the video and this much for today guys i will see you in the next video thank you